Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's wonderful uh, to be here this morning. I want to say a big thank you to Mr. Ison for allowing me to come here and, and uh, say a few words to you. This is my sixth trip to the United States of America and uh, my second visit to this great state of South Carolina. I love coming here. I think South Carolina is a wonderful place. Um, the people are fantastic. It's got a lot of natural beauty and um, it truly is an exceptional place within an exceptional nation. And whenever I come here, I really do see those most exceptional elements in their finest exhibition uh, in this state. And that is a credit, of course, uh, to each and every single one of you. I, at the moment, am on a speaking tour um, all through the United States, visiting four or five different states, one of which is South Carolina. Later today, I will be visiting the uh, Citadel and delivering a, a keynote address there and I'm most looking forward to visiting those young men and women um, who truly do represent America in her best form and uh, I'm looking forward to going there and speaking with, with them and, uh, and thanking them for maintaining uh, the greatness of America through everything that, that they do. I have always been drawn to America because for me America is more than just a country with borders, more than just a territory. For me America is an idea, a notion, an ideal. It transcends borders. For me America means freedom and freedom is the most noble pursuit of mankind and there has never been a nation anywhere in the world in almost 5,000 years of recorded human history that has done more to promote human and individual liberty. <clears throat> this nation, ladies and gentlemen, is the most optimistic, patriotic, religious, individualistic and libertarian nation in the world. And it has created unprecedented prosperity, success, it has spread peace and liberty across the world in a way that no one could possibly imagine and no one can say a big enough thank you for that. I got sick and tired of hearing the same people all across the world, the elites of our world, talk about how bad and evil and awful and terrible America is. They truly have hijacked the international agenda and no doubt there are those type of elites also in your country. And they've captured a great many classrooms, they've captured a great many colleges and they've captured a lot of newsrooms as well. And that's why I decided to take up this mission to come to America and to allow Americans to understand and to let them know that there are indeed millions of people right around the world, spread across every corner and every quarter of the globe, that truly appreciate and love everything that America stands for and everything that America does. Freedom requires great vigilance. Freedom is not something that we can simply just accept and expect to last without making great effort great consistent effort to ensure that it remains alive. And right now, I know that America is dispirited to some degree. I know that your famous optimism is on the way. And perhaps as I speak here to you this morning, this is America's most challenging time yet. America may well be falling behind, ladies and gentlemen, but America is not falling behind any other country. It's falling behind its own potential. And lots of people say to me, they say, Mr. Adams, why does it matter to an outsider? Why does it matter to a foreigner, a non-American? What happens to America or what happens in America? The answer, my friends, is very simple. What is good for America is good for the world. A strong America is a strong world. 
A weak America is a weak world. And that's why it is just so critical that we keep this nation strong. Because that shining light that you have been to people everywhere, that can only happen if the lamp is shining at home first. And so it's incumbent on all of you, and it's incumbent, I believe, on Friends of America, one of which I consider myself to be, to come here and to urge you to exercise fidelity to the founding principles, to those flames of the American fireplace. Freedom, liberty, justice, democracy, bravery. Now is the time to remember who you are and where you come from. What you've achieved and what you can still achieve. Sometimes it takes someone on the outside to remind you or or tell you what you're like on the inside. And I hope I can offer somewhat of a unique perspective here to you this morning. I know this is pretty hard hitting stuff for uh, 7.30 in the morning, but it's very important, uh, my friends, it's very important that you remain strong and that you remember what makes this nation great. What makes this nation great is its religious and moral character. Alexis de Tocqueville, the famous French philosopher who visited here in the 18th century, said America is great because America is good. America will cease to be great if she ceases to be good. 